Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 30 seconds. Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 10 When it comes to your health, are you seeing the check engine light come on more than normal? It's time to get under the hood. It's time for Ask the Doctor with Dr. Michael Lang. Sponsored by Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. Dr. Lang is a board-certified optometric physician and certified nutrition specialist, helping people see and feel better through proper nutrition for 25 years. The doctor is in. Call now with your questions at 877-969-8600. That's 877-969-8600. Here's your host, Dr. Michael Lang. Okay, good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual. For over 30 years now, I got to tell you, time flies when you're having fun. Started this talk show April of 1993. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a 30-year celebration here at Salem Media. So I still want to thank you guys and gals for doing that. And uh, remember, this is a live call-in show dedicated to you, the listener, the consumer, the patient, and the viewer. Because we're not only coast-to-coast -coast via the radio, we're live video streaming all over the world on social media and on a multitude of podcasts. Uh, you can learn more at drmichaellang.com, drmichaellang.com. So once again, this is a live call-in show. No matter how simple or complicated the question is, we will try to answer it to the best of our ability. When I say we, uh, it is two eye nutrition specialists on the radio today with you. That's myself, Dr. Michael Lang, along with Dr. Susan Summerton. Dr. Summerton, good morning. How the heck are you? Good morning. Glad to be back on the show and excited to talk to some listeners today. Yep. And uh, we've got a big show ahead of us today. Uh, we're going to talk about some new supplements that are uh, in the process of being researched by the Fortify Vitamin team. Uh, we're going to have some rapid fire nutrition facts that we're going to go over today. Um, we're going to talk about two times that you do not go to the optometrist or the ophthalmologist if you have an eye problem where you pass them and go directly to the emergency room. Uh, we're going to talk about amniotic membranes a little bit. These are stem cell enhanced amniotic, amniotic membranes for the cornea, how one size does not fit all. And you need to have multiple choices now in your armatarium. We're going to talk about black currant seed oil and GLA, the forgotten nutrient or a nutrient that is missing in your diet. And we're going to start off talking a little bit about the sad diet that most of you are on today before we go to the phones. So the sad diet is the standard American diet. And it is, folks, not the most healthful diet for you. It is too high in saturated fat, trans fat, fast food, <laughs> frozen food, preservatives, nasty chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, arsenic, gluten, phytic acid, lectins, FODMAPs. The list goes on and on and on. Basically, not the best diet for you. Did you know that typically there are three studies out there now that will benefit your health, your overall health? Three studies that came out very recently. One showing that the typical American only eats, you know, only one out of 10 Americans are getting enough fruits and vegetables today. One in 10. And that the average number of fruits and vegetables most people are eating are only 2.7 servings. We need 10, 11, 12, even 13 servings. So this study showed that, believe it or not, if you're 60, you can change your destiny. 60 years of age is young today. If you're 60, if you change your dietary habits, if you're a female, you can add eight years. And if you're a male, you can add nine years. If you change some of your lifestyle and your dietary habits, this is a new study, came out of Norway. So um, 
We got to change our dietary habits. Get away from the typical sad American diet. Maybe look into the Lang survival diet or at least a Mediterranean diet. Another study came out recently showing that uh, if you just consume five servings and fruits and vegetables a day, it's going to decrease your chance of death by multiple causes, 13% less likely to die from all causes, 35% risk of death, decreased risk of death from a respiratory disease by just bumping your fruits and vegetables up to five servings from 2.7. And then one more study, we're almost finished, uh, shows that uh, if you consume more fatty fish, all right, just one to two servings a week, that's not, not much. Sardines, anchovies, herring, mackerel, wild Alaskan salmon, it can decrease um, your risk of heart disease by 36%, dying from heart disease by 36%. And it also decreases your risk of a stroke, depression, Alzheimer, and all sorts of other health issues. So the gist of this little story today is eat more fruits and vegetables, start consuming some good fish. Now, we've got something for you. Uh, this is not going to replace your diet, but something called the Wellness Stacking Bundle. The Wellness Stacking Bundle has our organic blue-green superfood and our omega-3 max, all in a bundle for $52. Check it out. Uh, this is not a cure-all, okay? But a lot of you are not getting the fruits and vegetables and getting the omega-3 from your diet that you need. So Wellness Stacking Bundle comes with one canister of organic blue-green superfood and one of our most potent Super Omega Max. Remember, this is all organic, gluten-free, FODMAP-free, and the omega-3 is triglyceride form. Go to fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, fortify.com. Look at the Wellness Stacking Bundle. You will thank me down the road. Now, Dr. Summerton, we see this daily in our practice. I mean, we see a lot of patients. We talk to them and counsel to them about diet. And the typical diet that we see people consuming just is not that good. It isn't. And we can do better. And we're talking about adding more fruits and vegetables and make it fun today, especially Saturday. You know, after the radio show, go out to those farmers markets that tend to be on Saturdays and kind of look at all those different fruits and vegetables that are in season and just you know ask for ideas on cooking them or come up with your own little recipes to make them fun and, and get a little variety in there it just there are a lot of tasty fruits and vegetables out there I, I do hear from patients sometimes i don't like vegetables but you know there's different vegetables that we're going to prefer and use your own taste buds go to the markets and experiment you'll find ones you do like yep it is very simple. Shop on the outside of the uh, yeah, aisles at the grocery store where all that fresh produce is. And then go down the canned uh, tuna aisle and get some canned sardines. You know, love those. Probably everybody doesn't love them, but you can get them in mustard. You can get them in tomato sauce and you can acquire the taste for them. They're good for you. All right. We're going to open up the phone lines. we got a few people on hold. You're listening to Ask the Doctors this morning. Dr. Susan Summerton and myself, Dr. Michael Lang, we're not only board certified optometric physicians, we're also certified nutritional specialists. And Dr. Summerton has taken it to the next level. She's also fellowship trained. And uh, uh, what's the other one, Dr. Summerton? <laughs> A diplomat in the American Clinical Board of Nutrition. There you go. Diplomat and a fellow. So if you want to see Dr. Summerton at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida, come on by. Let me give you the phone number for the Lang Eye Institute. I give it to you twice. We're in the Villages, just a hop, skip, and a jump from wherever you are. That's 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. And remember, the Lang Nutrition Center is open in Ocala. We've got Mandy and Mary manning that, manning that. So somebody is there full time all the time now. So go to the Lang Nutrition Center. It's upstairs in the old Lang Eye Care building, right across the street from the Paddock Mall, two story building. Go up the elevator and uh, go on and say hello to Mandy and or Mary. And then remember, Fortify Nutrition Center is here in Clearwater. I'll be there today at one o'clock, one to three, at the Fortify Nutrition Center on McMullen Booth Road. Uh, so come on by and we can chit chat about nutrition and things of this nature. All right. Lastly, before we go to the phones, the BOGO, that means buy one, get one free on Fortify Fit strawberry watermelon cream is still running. But folks, it's about to expire. We're going to stop that buy one, get one free soon. 
So I don't know how soon. Is it five days? Is it two? Is it a week? You know, I don't know, but soon because our levels are getting down. Remember, I ordered a huge amount of the new strawberry watermelon cream to get it out in the public so they could try it. Remember, Fortify Fit is the ultimate muscle fuel, and it's for anybody at any age, all right? Uh, and it tastes delicious. The strawberry watermelon cream right now is buy one, get one free automatically when you go to fortify.com. All right, let's go to the phones. We've got a lot of people on hold. Let's go to Bob first. Bob, good morning. Welcome to the program, my friend. Good morning, doctors. A pleasant Saturday morning to you both. Uh, doctors, I have a quick question. I, I needed your advice last week about my first container of whey protein. And uh, as I read the label, it says serving size is one scoop. That's fine. One scoop in what? And how much of what? Okay, so... Uh, with somebody trying to lose weight, which is not you, uh, water, shake it up in water and drink it down. But with you, you're out and about, you're out in the sun a lot, you're working hard, you're sweating. I would take some coconut water, believe it or not. Coconut water, put a little salt in there, especially pink Himalayan sea salt, and just shake it up, all right? Coconut water, a little salt, shake it up with the scoop of the protein, drink it down. You know, when you're out there uh, working outside in the sun, that will help replenish your electrolytes. And it'll give you that 20 grams of non-denatured grass-fed protein to help recovery, help build muscle, help your immune system, okay? So try it with coconut water. If you don't like coconut water, you could do apple juice. Uh, you can do pomegranate juice. You could do orange juice even. Um, but those of you that have a blender, and most people don't have a blender at the workplace there, you could actually take a banana and a pineapple and blend that together, you know, with one of those battery-operated blenders. And you can mix it up. Sometimes you can try strawberries and blueberries. You know, uh, and you can use cashew milk or A2 cow's milk or goat's milk or, um, you know, any type of juice that you really like or milk. But right now, I think from what I know about you, Bob, try coconut water, put a little a little salt in there, shake it up in a shaker and drink it down. OK, but the, the question is, how much liquid? Eight ounces, 16 ounces, 32 ounces. It has to be exactly 8.4 ounces, not 8.3. <laughs> 8.4 ounces. You got it? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. You can do eight ounces. I mean, you know, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. That doesn't matter. All right. Very good. Thanks, doctors. Have uh, a nice weekend. Go ahead and talk to you next week. All right, Bob. <laughs> you too, Bob. You know, we had that fun recipe I made this week with that getting creative with the protein shake. Make it a little cottage cheese, some egg in that protein uh, powder a scoop of that and it made like a little high protein cheesecake it was delicious i actually walked into the room she brought it to me in the morning friday and i walked into the room she was with a patient and i had to disturb her and i said wow this is low calorie low carbohydrate low fat high protein and it was delicious i mean most cheesecake my god you eat a you know piece of cheesecake you're going to weigh eight pounds heavier in the morning so <laughs> tell tell the recipe again so it's the fortified cheesecake, one scoop. I use the whey vanilla, but I'm sure you will work with the whey chocolate as well. One scoop of that, a cup of cottage cheese, and one egg. And you mix all that together till it's nice and smooth. And then you just bake it at 350 for about, um, depends how big your pot size is, for, for about 15 minutes. Awesome. And it was delicious. High protein. <clears throat> Low carbohydrate and good for you. But remember, we do need carbs, especially if you're working outdoors. You got to have some glucose. Remember, gluco glucose plus oxygen equals ATP, adenosine triphosphate, clean energy. All right. Phone lines are open. 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. Give us a call if you got a question. And let's go to John in Holiday. John, good morning, my friend. Thanks for holding. Yes, good morning, Dr. Lang. Um, I saw my eye doctor for my dry eye problems a couple of days ago. He put in some plugs. Um, I told him, my, after that, I told him my left eye was weeping a lot. Um, he gave me a small bottle of Bessie Vance and a prescription. He was very busy with other staff members at the time. And I didn't get any further instructions other than to use three times a day. Um, I looked up Bezzy Vance on the Internet and don't understand why I need it or what it does. 
So I'm, I'm was very unhappy with the way that visit worked out. And because he was so busy, um, uh, it's left me, well, well, I don't know what, what I'm doing. Doc, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let Doctor uh, Summerton chime in. Doctors, do we do do we use Bezavance for dry eye? We haven't used it as an antibiotic. We right. use it quite a bit for corneal ulcers and bacterial conjunctivitis. Mm-hmm. It's an antibiotic to kill those bacteria. So I'm not. Maybe he thought he had another eye infection right. going on. But I would reach out, even if you get a hold of the nurse at that office. Um, to figure out what's going on. Right. You could have an infection that he didn't enlighten you. Maybe he just didn't educate you enough. Maybe you have an infection going on. And so he's prescribing this is a a, a pretty good antibiotic. I mean, it's not going to hurt you. All right. Um, I would do what the doctor says. But next time the doctor's walking out of the room, grab him by his coattails and yank him back in and say, look, I, I need I need to know what's going on here. You know, it's not like wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Tell me about yeah. my eye condition and why you're treating it with this drop. All right. But as you know, John, you've been listening to the show for a long time. You know, dry, yeah. dry eye. We got to do really four things. You heat the lids. You clean the lids. OK, you neutrify the glands with omega-3 and black currant seed oil. We're going to talk about that. Or our kit that's called Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. That has everything in it. It has the omega-3, the focus, and the black currant seed oil. So remember, we yes, heat them. Yes, I use that. Good. We heat them, I we clean that. them. We heat them, we clean them, we neutrify them, and then we lubricate. <clears throat> My personal preference <clears throat> is using lubricating eye drops that have hyaluronic acid in them. That's a natural anti-inflammatory. It tends to work better. And that's either Oasis Tears Plus or Optase, those are my two favorite, then drink plenty of water and less alcohol, less coffee, and have a banana a day or an avocado a day for the potassium. And remember, ceiling fans, when you're sleeping, aren't the best thing in the world for dry eye patients. Yeah, uh, he didn't seem to examine me in in any way before he, uh, this was a bit of an uh, afterthought on his part, I thought. Hmm. Um, he didn't seem to examine me, uh, you know, in, in any way, saying that I should need this. What? It was just an af- afterthought, and he was very busy with other staff members. Sure. So I'm just very, I'm just very unhappy with the situation. Might be time for a second opinion. Maybe time to switch to another doctor if you're not happy. Remember, you need to be happy. You're the patient, so uh, you need to be yeah. happy with the care that you're getting. I think the punctal plugs they did is probably going to benefit you from the dry eye. You know, also, you may want to consider something if your eyes are really severely dry and you're not getting any, you know, relief. There's two things we do at the Lang Eye Institute. We do Regenerize. That's a a kind of a stem cell enhanced eye drop. Um, uh, They're about sixty five to seventy five dollars a bottle. You use it twice a day and get pretty good relief or ask your doctor to consider. I don't want you to tell the doctor how to practice, but you can say, hey, you heard Dr. Lang and Dr. Summerton talking about you know, amniotic membranes on the show. And so people that have dry eye and they've tried just about everything and their eyes still are painful, sandy, gritty, burn, fluctuation of vision, you might be a candidate for a stem cell enhanced amniotic membrane. It's covered by your insurance, which is good, painless. You know, you put this membrane on the eye, put a bandage contact on the top and you remove it in three to five days. And oftentimes patients get dramatic relief from this. Yeah. I don't have any insurance, unfortunately. All right, then we would uh, bypass that if you have no insurance because those can get very costly. But you can think about Regenerize, the Regenerize are the drops, and we have those available um, at the Fortify Nutrition Center in Clearwater. That's something you could always try. Uh, I don't Mm -hmm. think it's going to harm you any. It could only possibly benefit you. Yeah. So I was concerned with with this Bessie Bessie Vance, but you know why I'm why I'm using it, why I've been given it, because it, it seemed to be a bit of an afterthought, um, and he he was so busy with other staff members, and I just feel I didn't get the attention that I needed. Yeah, he's he's probably trying to new. kill he's probably trying to kill some bacteria might be in your meibomian glands, and he's sincerely probably thinking it's going to help you. I mean, you could have an infection of some sort that he just did not you know, uh, clarify, but I would, I would take the drops per the instructions, um, until you go back for your follow-up. I mean, I would do what the doctor says. And if you're not happy, you know, go get a second opinion. Yes. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your your, your time. Thank you. As right, always. Jeff. You take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. All right. You're listening to Ask the Doctors. I'm Dr. Michael Lang with uh, Dr. Susan Summerton. Uh, we're both certified nutritional specialists as well. Uh, so we're eye nutrition specialists. I like that ring. And, you know, I don't want to brag and I don't want to toot my horn, but, you know, Dr. Summerton, there's not a lot of eye nutrition specialists in the United States. Now, is there or are there? There isn't. And that's not something we do a whole lot of studying in optometry school is nutrition. So both of us went after optometry school and got more education to become certified nutrition specialists. And I, I don't know exactly, but I would say there's less than a dozen. There's not many. I know a few that have retired now, <laughs> so there's not a whole lot. So another good reason to come seek out the advice of Dr. Susan Summerton at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida. All right. Uh, remember, check out things we got going on at fortify.com. Uh, you can go to the blog section and read some articles. Also, you can sign up for our newsletter at the bottom of the page at fortify.com as a newsletter. And you just click on it and you put your email on there. Boom. And then automatically, we're going to send you promos that we're doing. Uh, we're going to send you educational uh, information about things we're involved in. Uh, so sign up for the newsletter at fortify.com. Let me give you the Fortify phone number. I'm going to give it to you twice. Get a pen and paper. 866-503-9746. 866-503-9746. Remember to take advantage of the BOGO. That's buy one, get one free with free shipping on Fortify Fit. I'm holding it up right now. I literally, hundreds if not thousands of you are taking this now. A lot of great testimonials. Fortify Fit, we call the ultimate muscle fuel. So if you're lacking on energy, you're, you're losing some strength, you're not maintaining the muscle mass that you have as you get older, or you're not making the gains that you want when you're working out in the gym or whatever kind of exercise you're doing, consider Fortify Fit. Remember, the strawberry watermelon cream is buy one, get one free at fortify.com. Um, before we go to the next call, I want to mention just a couple of quick nutritional facts, right? When you eat almonds, when you eat spinach or beets, have some goat cheese or manchego cheese or cottage cheese or feta cheese with it because those three are very high in oxalates. And then the calcium from these cheeses will actually bind to the oxalates and hopefully you don't get a kidney stone. Drink more water and take a good probiotic for those of you that have had kidney stones, I've become an expert in this because I had one kidney stone years ago and I'm never going to have another one. That was some significant pain. So you can substitute, you know, kale for spinach because it's higher in lutein and it's much lower in oxalates. But if you like almonds, spinach and beets, have a little dairy with it, especially one of those cheeses I mentioned. Also, I've been preaching this for years. I was the, uh, the blaze study, uh, the guy that did the blaze study, beta carotene, lutein, alpha carotene, zeaxanthin absorption study, proving that um, beta carotene blocks the absorption of xanthophils called lutein and zeaxanthin and probably astaxanthin. So the gist of this story is don't eat carrots or sweet potatoes when you eat your dark green leafy vegetables or take your eye vitamins. Don't eat carrots or sweet potatoes because they're high in, in beta carotene when you're taking your eye vitamins or eating any dark green leafy vegetables. So never juice spinach or kale with carrots because a lot of you are doing that. Just leave the carrots to the side, all right? When you're going to eat rice, eat white rice instead of brown rice. There's less arsenic. And remember, we were always told, eat brown rice, eat white rice instead of, uh, instead of brown rice. And then finally, all of you that are oat fanatics, okay, and you eat your oatmeal, all right? You got it. If you're going to eat oatmeal, it's got to be organic steel cut because it doesn't have the pesticide and the Roundup in it. And you got to soak it overnight to reduce the phytic acid. So if you want to eat oatmeal, organic steel cut, soak it overnight before you cook it. And that's some rapid fire nutrition facts from Dr. Michael Pile. Uh, Dr. Know, Summerton. Um, you brought up the rice. Remember, we have another little trick for that white rice. Yes. That there was a study about cooking it with a teaspoon of coconut oil, and then you refrigerate it, and that will actually reduce the glycemic index and the calories that is in that rice. 
that's pretty amazing. So now you, you, you can use white rice. All right. It's better for you. And then you cook it with the organic extra virgin coconut oil reduces the glycemic index. And is it reducing the calories too? Yeah, they, the study said 50 to 60 percent, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> that really is. All right. The things you learn from Dr. Summerton and Dr. Lang. All right. Phone lines are open. one 877 969 8600. That's 1 877 969 8600. So uh, when John called earlier, uh, we talked a little bit about nutrition for dry eye. I created a formula uh, called Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. I'm holding up in front of all you people right now on social media. It comes in a box, it has Super Omega in it, it has Fortify Focus in it, and it has black currant seed oil in it. So Black currant seed oil, I mentioned in the beginning of the show, and I'm going to have Dr. Summerton expand on this, is kind of a missing nutrient or a forgotten nutrient. Because how many of you are eating evening primrose oil, borage oil, or black currant seed oil? Probably none of you. Maybe one, one in a hundred out there are consuming this. But that is what black currant seed oil, uh, well, GLA comes from that. The reason we take black currant seed oil is for the GLA, the gamma linoleic, linoleic acid that's in it. And that's a missing nutrient. So if we're not doing borage oil, black currant seed oil, evening primrose oil, you're deficient in it. And one thing about this, it stimulates, and it's one of the best ways to stimulate one of the anti-inflammatory pathways known PGE1. That's prostaglandin. Uh, that's the number one prostaglandin. The series one, series two, and series three. So series two and series three, omega-3 acts on that, curcumin acts on that, but series one, gamma linoleic acid, GLA acts on that, and it's anti-inflammatory. So Dr. Summit is kind of an expert in this arena of, of GLA and black currant seed oil, how it can help all aspects of our health. So let's chime in and learn. Right. We use it along with fish oil as well, because it's that synergistic effect of just they're helping each other out. It's, it's one of my favorites to use with our dry eye patients, especially our dry eye patients that also have any kind of skin issues. There's been studies that help with rheumatoid arthritis. So if we're using dry eye, they definitely, there's a correlation with rheumatoid arthritis and having dry eye as well. We add that black currant seed oil and it makes such a difference, not only to their eyes, but their joints as well. So we get those beneficial side effects. Um, a lot of women like using it for PMS. There is studies that help with the metabolism, the heart. You mentioned a little bit of potassium with um, the dry eye. Black currants do con contain some potassium too. So you're getting a little bit of benefit, a little extra potassium when you're taking that as well. I know it's popular. I think we had a um, in England, if everyone heard of that uh, drink, Ribena, that's a black currant seed uh, drink, but the black currant, not seed. And we don't have much of that here in the U.S., so we have to find ways that we can get that into our diet. And the black currant seed oil, is some like yellow capsule, is pretty easy to take, goes well with your fish oil, and you get the added benefits of brain, skeletal, heart, um, Another little trick, we talked about little tricks, just came to mind with your black currant seed oil can help acne. So if you have an acne breakout, you can actually break open one of those capsules, but it's really potent. So you want to kind of blend it a little bit with some coconut oil and you can put it right on the acne and it will help heal that very efficiently and quickly. So many benefits. We kind of stay away from the evening primrose oil. I personally do. That's used more in hormone treatment and it can affect estrogen. So we like to stay with the black currant seed oil. Amen. And that's why we developed one at fortify.com. You go to fortify.com and look at the black currant seed oil. It's like 20 bucks. It's not real expensive. And when you buy, get on a, a auto ship program, you get another 15% off. Um, so check it out at fortify.com. That's F O R T I F E Y E fortify.com. And remember, it is all for those of you that are taking our Fortify Focus, which is the quadruple carotenoid, and taking our Fortify Super Omega. You can get it. It's basically free. It gives it free in the Advanced Dry Eye Therapy Kit. So remember, the Advanced Dry Eye Therapy Kit is for you that have dry eye to help support 
your dry eye symptomology, but it's also for inflammation in the entire body, it helps your skin, hair, and nails as well. So once again, it's called Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy at fortify.com. Also, I want to mention, this is the first time this has ever been mentioned. We're working on a new supplement. We're working on a couple of new supplements. We're working on a new glaucoma formula that's going to revolutionize nutritional support for glaucoma. And hopefully we have it out in three, four, five, six months. They've been doing some animal studies right now. So we've got a new glaucoma, something that's a nutritional way of helping support uh, ganglion cells. This is to aid in neuroprotection and also help lower intraocular pressure. We're using a combination of some evidence-based nutrients. We will be the first in the world to have this product. And uh, we'll keep people posted on this as studies uh, present. Also, we're working on a new formula. And you women and men are going to like this. A new formula that's going to replace our Fortify Collagen Plus. A lot of you have taken our Fortify Collagen Plus, and it's a great supplement. We're going to revitalize and enhance that product. And hopefully the price isn't going to go up at all, okay? Maybe the price will go down. You never know. So we think it's going to be called Fortify Rejuvenate, all right? Uh, this is going to have the latest nutritional science for skin, hair, nails, joints, ligaments, and tendons. That's why we call it Rejuvenate. We're using, I'm not going to get into exactly what we're using because I don't want somebody to start copying it, but we're going to be using something brand new. There's not any, anybody even talking about it except me on Instagram and I think one YouTube video of a special marine tripeptide, collagen. So most collagen out there is a peptide. Uh, a tripeptide is a, a newer form that absorbs much more readily. You can use less and get better results. So the results with this tripeptide, the preliminary results and studies show, and this is without us adding the other goodies that we're going to put in it, they're going to make it work synergistically together. The preliminary studies show that this tripeptide can increase the moisture in the skin three, three times, increase the elasticity in the skin four times. Now get this, hold on to your, uh, hold on to your uh, pants here. Um, 10 times less fine lines and wrinkles and crow's feet in the face. Pretty amazing stuff. So uh, look in the future for something that's going to possibly be called Fortify Rejuvenate. Fortify Rejuvenate. So it's the first time we ever talked about it. Um, all right. Phone lines are open. 1-877-969-8600. We're getting loaded up. Remember, if you'd like to see Dr. Susan Summerton or myself, Dr. Michael Lang, and we can't forget Dr. Lori Caputi um, or Doc Hall at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages. Let me give you a phone number, 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. Remember, if you're looking for an eye nutrition specialist, that's me and Dr. Summerton. Uh, Dr. Caputi is a great uh, optometric physician, and Doc Hall is a amazing nutrition guru. And he does free nutritional consultations at the Lang Eye Institute. Just call and set up an appointment. There's no catches. It's free. And he spends a lot of time with you. All right, we're going to the phones. Let's go to Barb. She's been waiting patiently in Palm Harbor. Barb, Barb thanks for holding. Good morning. Yes, good morning, doctors. Uh, I have, um, I'd like to uh, ask um, you to address estrogen dominance. Uh, when a, when a person is uh, it has too much estrogen, and then I also have another question: Is it possible uh, when the optic nerve has had um, damage, uh, like um, a small clot, or and has caused uh, the eye to shift? Is it possible for that to be reversed? Hmm. All right. I'm gonna. Uh... I'm going to chime in. I would not eat any chia seeds, any soy, or any flax seeds. Anything with chia, flax, or soy if you have estrogen dominance. These are phytoestrogens. And for those men out there, uh, I wouldn't eat a lot of those. And a little bit's okay. But I'm going to let doc, Dr. Summerton in a minute chime in more about estrogen dominance because she's a female. And she's probably got a lot more knowledge about that than I do. Now, um, as far as the optic nerve goes, currently... Barb, if you've got optic nerve damage, all right, whether it's from glaucoma and ischemic optic neuropathy, optic neuritis, uh, papilledema, I mean, whatever may be causing optic nerve damage, some of these uh, 
nerve fiber layer defects, if it's related to swelling of the optic nerve, can sometimes come back if we find the underlying etiology and treat it aggressively and bring the swelling down. However, if it's related to like an ischemic optic neuropathy, that's where oxygen deprivation uh, from, you know, non-arteritic or arteritic, something like giant cell arteritis or related to, you know, a vascular problem, or if it's related to optic neuritis, then oftentimes that is permanent, okay? Um, without seeing each individual and knowing the history, it's hard to determine. And the key is early detection. And that's one of the things we we're going to talk about today. One of the two times you do not go to the optometrist or the ophthalmologist. There's two times. And one of the two times is if you have rheumatoid arthritis or you have PMR, polymyalgia rheumatica, and you have a sudden painless loss of vision and you also have temporal pain, temporal pain, something called jaw claudication, then that could be a result of giant cell arteritis. And you have to get to the emergency room rapidly so you don't go blind in that eye. And then you don't go blind in the other eye shortly after. So giant cell arteritis is something you have to take seriously because you can go totally blind in a few days in both eyes. And that vision will never come back. So those of you out there with PMR, polymodular rheumatica, or some a lot of arthritis, a lot of collagen vascular diseases. And if you've been diagnosed with giant cell arteritis or temporal arteritis, or you have a lot of temporal pain, you know, and you have this sudden loss of vision, painless loss of vision, go to the emergency room. I hate to tell you, but you got to tell the front desk that I don't, I can't sit in the waiting room long. I might have giant cell arteritis. Please tell the, the attending ER physician because they need to get you back and put you on IV steroids because um, time is crucial. I've seen too many People go totally blind because they waited in the emergency room for 10 to 12 hours and never took them back. So that's kind of sad. So um, so that answers some of that. But Dr. Summerton is going to chime in on on more of the whole estrogen deal. You know, Barb and our listeners, the excess estrogen is a lot related to detoxification and your gut health. Our excess estrogen is actually released through bowel movement. So we want to work on making sure you're getting plenty of water and plenty of fiber in your diet. And also when you're choosing like your meat and dairy products, you want to gear towards the organic because we know a lot of these um, farming these days, they add those excess hormones into that meat and dairy. So you want to look out, you have to pay a little bit more, look for those grass fed um, organic meats and dairy. And then also the crucis cruciferous vegetables, pardon me, that's more like your kale, your Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower. Those have been shown to have benefits for that estrogen balance and get everything as far as your liver detoxifying and really getting that excess um, estrogen, improving those estrogen metabolism pathways. And then also a lot of these products in our skincare, they have what we call those xenoestrogens. And those can kind of mimic estrogen. And we want to make sure we're not putting more of those in our bodies via our skin. So look at the labels and go for more like the natural products. You want to stay away. If you see something that says like parabens on the label, you want to stay from that. Um, Phthalate, that's kind of a weird word. That's the one that starts with P-H-T-H. And then sulfate, stay away from those. And basically... Just like with all the health issues, you want to try to reduce self um, stress and get more sleep. We want to make sure we have good um, thyroid levels, too, because it is connected um, to the thyroid hormone balance as well. So just some tips. It's a lot that will clean up not only estrogen dominance, but also the overall health. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. You guys are, you guys are off the charts. If you were going to do a liver a detox, what would you, what would you do uh, besides the milk thistle? Do you have any other suggestions for a real great liver detox? Well, the cruciferous vegetables help your liver detox. So, you know, like the, the kale, the Brussels sprouts, the cauliflower, those help it. But even when you eat a healthy diet, I know even eating our whey protein, that helps improve that liver function too and get those toxins out. But a big thing too is not putting more toxins back in. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Great answers, doctor. Thanks. 
right? The whey, whey protein, like Dr. Uh, Summer mentions, is, is a great way to detox and also build your immune system and help recover and help build muscle. So whey protein is something we recommend to everybody. I mean, so starting out earlier, we started talking about proper diet, which is so crucial. Get away from the sad diet. That's the American diet, the typical standard American diet. And maybe look into something like the Lang survival diet. You know, think about what we started talking about on the show earlier. Um, for $52 at fortify.com, you can get the wellness bundle, which is the organic blue green superfood. Remember, all organic, gluten free, FODMAP free, digestive enzymes and probiotics in it, and the omega 3. So, uh, those are three things that I preach to a lot of people, a lot of patients, my family is whey protein, uh, organic blue green superfood, and uh, super omega, um, or something similar to that. It doesn't have to be fortify. But remember, if you're going to get a whey protein, make sure it says grass-fed, non-denatured, and where the cows come from, all right? And if you're going to get an omega-3, make sure it says triglyceride form or reesterified triglyceride form on it. And if you're going to get a blue-green superfood, make sure it's all 100% certified organic, gluten-free, and FODMAP-free. And so that's hard to find, what I just said. That's why we developed Fortify Vitamins. So you can check all that out at fortify.com. All right, Barb, thanks for the call. Thank you. Bye-bye. And Susan, thanks for that excellent word of advice. Thank you. I'm just not an expert in estrogen, and I'm not an expert in <laughs> progesterone. But I do know a lot about testosterone. All right, let's go back to the phones. I think Steve and Largo has been waiting patiently. Steve, good morning. Welcome to the program. Well, it's clear water, but I won't be political. Anyway, um, I was thinking a little counterintuitively about what you said about not taking the soy if you have too much estrogen. And here's what I'm thinking. The, the, the phytoestrogens, which are in soy, you know how they say Japanese women have less breast cancer because they, they, they think because they eat a lot of soybeans? Well, if these, if these phytoestrogens are weaker they're, they're not as strong as estrogen. They mimic estrogen, but they are weaker than estrogen. So if you saturated the estrogen receptors, even though they're, they're stimulants to estrogen, they're weaker than the regular estrogen, then you actually benefit the person with high estrogen because you're replacing a strong estrogen act receptor activator with a weak estrogen receptor activator. And that's why women in Japan even though estrogen promotes cancer, they think that they get less breast cancer than other people in the world. I don't know if that's true or not, but... What about the rice? The rice, I don't know anything about. Because they eat a lot of rice in Japan, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It could, it, you never know. But I'm just thinking that, that they, they always have said that the women, reason the breast cancer rate is so low in Japan is because they eat a lot of soybeans. Oys, soybeans have phytoestrogens, which are weaker stimulants than the estrogen itself. They still stimulate, but they, they're less. Right. Well, in certain, certain men, they put on, on hormones, you know, hormones with right. men with certain types of cancers. And so, you know, the isoflavonoids, uh, isoflavones and cancer and soy right. have been shown to benefit some types of cancers. You're absolutely correct. Right. It's, it's a very complex issue. And I suspect there's a lot of individuality to it. You know, these BRCA genes, the breast cancer genes mm -hmm. and prostate cancer genes, they probably, it's multifactorial. So you can take the same substance and it might be good for one man, but not for another. I, depending on their genetic background and their nationality and stuff like that. I also think everything in moderation, you know, so I say stay away from these things, but certainly people can eat chia and flax and soy. But everything in moderation. I mean, don't be overdoing soy daily or any of these other things. Same thing with red meat, you know. Uh, right. You know, don't right. overdo it. Everything in moderation. We got to mix it up, you know, add things to our diet. Lots of colorful fruits and vegetables, preferably, preferably organic. Variety is the spice of life, except when you're married. And, <laughs> and one thing you were talking about your collagen product. Um, do you know what the one one thing about her hernias and hemorrhagic stroke have in common a lot of people who have hernia will have hemorrhagic strokes they're related it's because of the the supporting structure in hernias gets weak the collagen the rebar in the in the tissues right and so you the hernia the, that tissue is weaker and so it stretches easier and you can get a hernia 
Well, the same thing's true in, in, in arteries. If you don't have that supporting structure, the, the wall of the artery gets weak, just like it gets, the muscle gets weak in the hernia because there's not a lot of elastin and collagen. And a little bit, of, and, and they found out that if you look in the internet, very easy to do, look up copper and hem, hernias and copper and hemorrhagic stroke. Mm -hmm. And they're both related very highly. Right. And type three collagen has been shown to be beneficial for the elasticity of the blood vessels. Right. And it's, um, it's, it's very, very interesting how I, I'm the, all those collagens sometime when you have time on, on the show, I, I, I what's it, I'd kind of like to know what the difference is between all those different kinds. I mean, and, what makes type two different than type four type six or whatever. Right. That's a whatever. whole show. Yeah. That's a whole show yeah. we can talk about, but the majority of collagen is type one that's in our body. And so type uh -huh. one is good. Type three is also oh, okay. very good. You know, there's, but there's a whole, you know, whether it's chicken, whether it's pork, whether it's bovine, whether it's vegetable, whether it's marine, the newest thing we're going to be talking about is the tripeptides. And you can research this from marine collagen, tripeptides. Look at that and you're going to be fascinated. And we'll, we'll chat about that soon. Okay, super. All right, Steve. Okay, God bless you. Thanks for the call. Just to add on to the soy, one of the issues we have here in the States is most of our soy is genetically modified. So a lot depends on the source of the soy to whether it can affect the cancer and not to make it too complicated, but the primary sources like tofu, edamame, tempeh, those are the ones non-genetically modified that have proven beneficial, but those secondary sources like those uh, soy based meat derivatives and right. the ones with the added so soy protein, those are ones that have shown to be the more risky with the phytoestrogens. I like miso soup, fermented soy, if it's coming from an organic, non genetically modified source. A little miso soup is good. Once again, everything in moderation. All right, phone lines are open. We got time for a few more calls. 1 877 969 8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. You're listening to Ask the Doctors or the Eye Nutrition Specialist, Dr. Susan Summerton and myself, Dr. Michael Lang. And you can see Dr. Summerton at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida. Let me give you the phone number for that. That's 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. You can learn more about what we got going on at drmichaellang.com. But anything we talk about on this program, you can learn about the science, look at the studies, learn about the description, see the prices. If you go to fortify.com, fortify.com is F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, -E, fortify.com. And remember to sign up for the newsletter. Just go to the bottom of the page, fortify.com. And there's a little section that says newsletter. Click on that, put your email in. You're good to go. We're going to send you a lot of promotional deals where you save money. Remember, a dollar saved is a dollar gained and give you some educational information talking about some of the latest things that we're involved in. I don't want to briefly talk about, remember I told you earlier in the program, there's two times you go to the emergency room and you do not go to your optometrist or ophthalmologist with eye problems. One is this giant cell arteritis, all right, if you have painless loss of vision. The other is if you wake up or during the day, all of a sudden you got pain in your eye and your eye is turned out and down you have double vision. You look at your pupil and one pupil is blown. That means it's very large. And you have a ptosis. That means your eyelid is sagging. So if your eyelid is sagging, your pupil is large, your eye is turned out and down, you got a little pain, or even just a few of these, go directly to the emergency room. Do not pass go. Go directly to the emergency room. Don't go to the local doc in the box. Don't go to the urgent care center. Go to the emergency room because that could be uh, an aneurysm at the bifurcation of the internal carotid artery and the posterior communicating artery. But otherwise, Dr. Summerton, we take care of just about everything at the Lang Eye Institute, don't we? We do, and we do our best. If it is those emergencies, we want to get you in that same day. Fridays tend to be our busy day because we don't want you to have to go through that weekend with worrying about something that's going on in your eye. And we gladly accept and get you in as quick as we can. Yep. Amen. And three big specials we got going on. Remember, Fortify Macular Defense for the, those of you that are taking it. It's 30% off right now on the website. Fortify Zinc Free Macular Defense or Macular Defense. That acts as a great multivitamin as well. It's 30% off at fortify.com. 
Remember the wellness stacking button we started talking about earlier in this program. It gives you the organic blue green superfood and the omega three. Um, it's fifty two dollars. You can't beat that. I mean, somebody selling it would probably be three times that. And then the Fortify Fit, the BOGO, buy one, get one free. Fortify Fit at Fortify.com. Come see me at the Fortify Nutrition Center today at 1 o'clock. Dr. Summerton, you got about 15 seconds to tell everybody goodbye. Thank you for listening. I'm off to go pick some fresh blackberries on the farms around here in the villages. Hope everyone gets to get some fresh fruit and vegetables today. Awesome. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to Ask the Doctor. Remember, eat more organic fruits and vegetables and eat more fatty fish. I'm out of here. Have a great day. God bless you and God bless America. 